Okay guys, we're back with another set of course, a setup guide. This time we're going to be looking at the FXK at Barcelona, a special event. Obviously we're going to be driving the Ferrari FXXK and it's pushing out over 1,000 horsepower, 1,050 horsepower to be precise. With a top speed of 350 kilometers an hour. In this event we're going to be racing around Barcelona, Catalunya, um, the moto version of the track. Um, we're racing at 9.30 in the morning, clear weather 25 degrees. Okay, so starting the lap, we're going to be trying to get a nice clean exit from this last corner now. Going in fourth gear, then short shifting into fifth gear on the exit now. Into fifth gear, and then going over the line, and then going into sixth gear. We're going to be looking out for the whiteboard on the left now. We're going to break just before the whiteboard you see now. We're going to break just before that whiteboard there. Going down into third gear, and trying to hit the apex as close as we can. Be careful on the throttle now. We're going to short shift into fourth gear as we build the power on there. Just, just short shift it full gear then just be careful and be patient on the power now slowly feed that fourth gear power through and then into fifth gear on the exit then we're going to break just before the bridge again and down into third gear be careful try and take a nice tight line into the corner hold the line as tight as you can then slowly feed the back power back through into fourth gear and then just be careful again breaking nice and early going down into third gear then second gear as we get close to the apex then slowly feed the power through again in this guy into third gear just be cautious as you're feeding the power through into fourth gear then into fifth gear and back down to third gear slowly into this apex and just be careful you don't run too far wide onto the curb there into fourth gear be careful again on the exit head into fourth gear staying in third gear now back down to third gear sorry then into fourth gear as we short shift to stop that power building up into fifth gear going looking for the braking zone now where we're going to break just on that whiteboard again there going down into third gear then second gear as we get closer to the apex and slowly feeding the power back through into third gear then into fourth gear as we go up to the top now and then back down to third gear we're going to try and hold that nice tight line through this corner now and slowly feeding the power through as we come out the corner into fourth gear and then we're going to go back down to third gear as we chuck the car over the curb on the right there trying to get a good exit going into fourth gear and then just be careful as we go through this corner going down into fourth gear slowly again feeding the power through and then into fifth gear on the exit of the corner and over the line for a time that easily beats the gold time. As you can see there, you only needed a 1 minute 45, we did a 1 minute 40.619 and there was a lot more time in that lap still, wasn't really pushing that hard. So we're going to have a quick look at the setup. Um, not many setups that can change that can be made, but mainly what we've done is try and stabilise that rear. We've running quite a strong toe on the rear and obviously a little bit more toe on the front, but not we're not going as low as we can. Um, camber's on the rear lower than obviously what the front setting are to give us a grip on the rear also. So anyway guys, I hope that setup has helped you out and make sure you watch the replay again as again this car sounds amazing on the replay cameras. Thanks again for watching.